Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today we will learn a new chapter 4, Introduction to Organic Chemistry. This is a first chapter in organic chemistry in SK025. Uh, this chapter contains the basic concept of organic chemistry. What is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the chemistry of carbon compound. Organic compound contain hydrogen as well as carbon while other common elements are oxygen, nitrogen, halogens, sulfur, and phosphorus. Example of organic compound like aspirin, glucose, caffeine. This is a, a few example of organic compound that we always found in our daily life. Okay, so for the learning outcomes for the chapter 4, Introduction to Organic Chemistry, we have 4.1. Subtopic 4.1 Molecular and Structure Formula. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Define structure formula. B. Show the structure formula in the form of expanded, condensed, and skeletal structure based on the molecular structure. C. Classify carbon into primary secondary, tertiary, or quaternary, and hydrogen into primary, secondary, or tertiary. We go to the first one, structure formula. What is a structure formula? Structure formula is the formula that show how the atoms of a molecule are bonded to one another. Structure formula, we can divide by three, expanded structure, condensed structure, and skeletal structure. Expanded structure, a structure formula that shows all atoms in a molecule and all bonds connecting the atom. Look at this example. We can see here all atom in a molecule and all bond connecting the atom by a covalent bond. Skeletal structure. Carbon change are drawn zigzag and ring are drawn as polygons. Carbon atom and hydrogen atom are usually not shown and the functional group are shown. Example We have uh, this we call a skeletal structure. You can see here Okay, carbon chain are drawn as zigzag. Okay, where carbon atom and hydrogen are usually not shown. So this represent the carbon atom. Okay, so we can see here, so the carbon atom are usually not shown for the skeletal structure. Condensed structure. CH and CC single bond are normally not shown. So, for the covalent bond between carbon and hydrogen, carbon and carbon are normally not shown. Example. 
we compare between expander and condensed structure. So we have a molecular formula for C4H10. Right. So this for the expanded structure and this for the condensed structure. So we can see here bonding between C, H, C, C single bond are not sure. And then for the condensed structure, we use of bracket in condensed structure to show heteroatom, more than one atom, functional group, alkyl group at the site change. Example, we have a 2 propanol with molecular formula C3H8O. So, this is a structure for the expanded structure and this for the condensed structure. Right. So, where OH group, functional group is located at carbon number 2. So at carbon number 2 and this for the condensed structure. Okay, carbon number 1 and carbon number 2. Okay. Or we can draw CH3CH in bracket OHCH3 or CH3CH OHCH3 to represent for the to propanol okay when we draw in a condensed structure okay another example for the to compare between expanded and condensed structure okay we have a structure formula with a Okay, for the expanded CH2 double bond CH CH3. And then we can convert to the condensed structure. Right, so this for the condensed structure. Okay, where the multiple bond, carbon-carbon double bond in the condensed structure will be shown. Okay, and next, another example here, class. Okay, we have CH3, C double bond O, H. Okay, aldehyde. So we can draw the structure in condensed structure. So we have CH3, CHO. Condensed structure containing CO bond. C double bond O, we can write as a CHO. And then, okay, another example we have, we have in a cyclic structure. Okay, expanded, condensed structure. So this is for the condensed structure of cyclic compound. Okay, we look the further example. Okay, example one. For the butane with molecular formula C4H10. Okay, C4H10. So this for structure for the butane. Okay, in expanded structure. Condensed structure. Okay, and then skeletal structure. We have four carbon. One, two, three. Four. And then classification of carbon atom, we can classify as a primary carbon. What is a primary carbon? The number of carbon atom attached to it equal to 1. For secondary carbon, number of carbon atom attached to it equal to 2, 1, and 2 carbon. Tertiary carbon, number of carbon atom attached to it equal to 3, 
and then we have a quaternary carbon. The number of carbon atom attached to it equal to 4. Right. And then, for your information, no classification for the carbon atom in methane and in multiple bonds. So, it's applicable for sp3 habitats of carbon atom. Okay. Example, for the CH4 methane. Right, so it's all wrong. Eh? We cannot label as a primary carbon. Okay. And then we have a CH3, SP3, hybridized carbon atom. So where is a primary carbon? Okay. And CH3 also a primary carbon. And then, for the multiple bond, okay, we cannot classify for carbon atom. We can classify as a secondary carbon. Okay, right. Look at this example. Identify the following, the type of carbon primary secondary tertiary for A. Okay, so we have a primary tertiary primary secondary and primary. Okay, for such a B, okay, we only label for the sp3 hybridized carbon atom to classify for carbon atom. Okay, this for the skeletal structure, C. And this for the D. Okay, 